and welcome to this week's mishmash video uh, as you might have seen in my last live stream no more brace <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that um, in this week's video we're also going to be packing up all my supplies for my first time doing some plain air painting outside and this time I'm doing some mixed media painting and I'm packing up a lot more supplies hopefully it's not too much so we'll be doing that this week um, I definitely want to work in my sketchbooks more this week so I think there will probably be some footage of that in here as well um, and also just some other things that are going on in our life some of the fun things that we've been doing so just grab yourself something cozy to drink and come on in and let's start this week So I'm actually filming this uh, Saturday morning. I don't normally film on Saturdays, but today is fishing opener. <laughs> um, and I, I have already been out and back with our uh, first fishing excursion. Um, it was cold and the fish weren't biting, so it wasn't great for fishing, but I did get to work in my sketchbook for a little bit before people got too cold and we had to come home. So why don't we start this week's video with uh, showing me packing everything up this morning uh, into my backpack and all the supplies I took with me and I didn't actually film while I was out fishing because I was working in my sketchbook and I forgot <laughs> um, but I will show you what I did in the sketchbook so let's start with that okay you guys it is the first day of fishing season and you know what that means that means it's time to fill up my plain air backpack for going with them and making some art i think i'm going to put some different supplies in this year and i'm excited so i'm going to go get my stuff and i will show you what i'm packing up this year okay so if you were here last summer you've probably seen this before this is normally my <clears throat> travel kit uh this is my pencil roll that i'll put some colored pencils and stuff in and then i usually bring this as well um this is my art toolkit palette um i can link this all below i was using this pretty much exclusively by the end of last year um oops there we go um and then i usually bring some water brushes some paper towel this little sprayer of water and some clips for holding my sketchbook open but I'm going to take a look at things and I may be revamping some things. So one thing I know for sure that I want to bring with me this year are some of these. And I have this little set that I got when I was trying to decide, decide if I want, wanted the big set. And I'm going to bring this little set to have a range of colors. But then I also have this, uh, I think some jewelry findings came in this. And I'm going to pick out some extra colors to take with. This was another supply that I got right before my whole shoulder injury. And I didn't get to use it a lot. And I'm really excited to use it. Um, I actually have been dealing with a little art block ever since that. I'm, if you've been around on my channel, you know I've been having some issues. So um, let's, let's use some supplies. So I don't want to duplicate these colors since I'm already bringing them with me. Oh, right. I always forget that there's a whole metal tray you're supposed to lift out, and I try to lift out the wobbly one. There we go. There's not another one underneath. No. Okay. So we've got some bright colors. I think we'll need some, uh, maybe some dark. So let's start with some browns. 
and some of these dark greens and oh what else I should have should have had a paper here for testing stuff on do I have one within reach yeah let's try this oh that's too dark what do we have here let's test these and make sure we like these I don't think I'm going to bring that one. Bring those. We should have some blues. We've got one bright blue. So, let's see. Maybe this one. That's a pretty one. And... Maybe this one. That works too. And... Oh, what else do we want? Maybe a, a brighter green. Do I like these colors? Yes, this is what we're going to stick with. So we'll take... This is the perfect little size box for this. Actually, I could maybe even... Can I do a second row? see if I can do a second row and if it will still shut I can this is perfect um, all right well since we have more space let's add some brighter greens that's too bright that's a good one and maybe some more blues then too I think this one and this one are the same. So what about this? And there probably won't be much purples or reds or anything out yet. It's still early in the season. Mm -mm -mm. Could bring a range of grays. Now, let's see if that shuts. It does. Perfect. And then we have these. That is perfect. The next thing I'm going to bring this year are a couple Posca markers. And I think some of these probably haven't been... I think I just took these out of the boxes, so these are probably the ones that I haven't used at all yet. So I'm going to make sure they're all ready to go here and swatch them. So I'm bringing blue, khaki green, a white. This is the English green. This is the Prussian blue, uh, brown, and light blue. You know what? Maybe I should bring ones that I already opened. This one I already opened, so that's good to go. Is this the Prussian blue? I have some repeats, so that's what I'm checking for. I already opened the Prussian blue. Let me find it. Here's our Prussian blue I already opened. Um, is this the khaki green I already opened? Yes. So khaki green. Oh, I just watched that one already. Is this the English green I already opened? No. English green already opened. Brown already opened. Yep, brown. And light blue open. Oh. No. Here's the light blue. And I think this is probably not the white I opened then either. Oh, I did. Okay. So these are the colors I'm taking with that. Okay, these are the ones that the Prisma colors I've separated out that are light fast. So let's get a range of Prisma colors to take with us. Oh, let's see. And does this fit here? This way. Eh. Nope. Okay. Um, so we've got that green. So I forgot to state the colors that I was putting in. So I'm just going to speed this up. Um, it's a range of Prisma colors. Um, again, all light fast. Um, and 
I had a lot of fun doing some mixed media sketching. I actually have given myself permission to not necessarily film everything I do uh, lately, to trying to deal with the art block. I will, at the end of this video, do a small sketchbook tour of the stuff that I have done over the last two weeks in my sketchbook. Be aware that it's very different than my normal style. It's very loose and flowy, so be aware. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good for colored pencils. I wonder if I should throw in a few orange and reds just to have them. Might as well, I guess. I've been trying to work in different styles from what I normally work in to try to break through this artist block or funk or whatever it is I'm in. So I've been working very loose and fast and sketchy and scribbly and just getting color down and trying to enjoy the process and not worry so much about the finished result. Uh, absolutely no pre-sketching, nothing like that, and it's been helping. Let's throw that in too. All right, so there is my colored pencil selection. And then I'm going to throw in, if they fit, hopefully. Hmm. They don't want to fit, so they'll have to go in here, but I'm going to bring the microns in the 005, the 02 and the 05. And then I almost forgot a white Prismacolor. We can't forget that. And then I don't think I've showed this on my channel yet. This is the Uni Jetstream 101. This is, uh, they've developed it specifically for artists. It's a ballpoint pen that's waterproof and light fast. And I just bought a whole box of these and I haven't really tried those out yet. So I'm going to bring one of these with me. And we'll throw in a mechanical pencil just because, although I've been trying not to erase so much. Okay, so here's where we're at. We have our uh, Karen Nash Neo Colors. We've got these markers. I filled up some water brushes. I've got a bigger one here and then a finer point one and then these three are my, these are the Arteza. I like these a lot. We've got the palette. I've got some paper towel. Um, I don't want to take too much. I feel like I might be taking too much, but we'll see. I was thinking about taking some of these with me. I have some more little, I think they'd fit in there just perfect, but I don't know if I should or not. It would make things messier than I wanted. Um, the other thing I was thinking was taking some tubes of the gouache with and just putting the brush in the end of the tube. I think let's try that this time. Let's pick some colors. These are all the trial sets I got of the Turner gouache. I think it was uh, Dream World and I forgot the other set. But they were on sale for really cheap one day um, on Jerry's. Um, so let's pick... I don't know. I, I don't want to be mixing anything, so it'll just be putting my brush in the end of the tube. We'll pick this hooker's green. That looks good. And we'll pick, this is the permanent green light. We'll pick that even though it's a little bright. And let's see, what else do we have here? We'll take the sepia. This is the cerulean blue. Let's see what I think of this. And yeah, we can take that. I can mix a little bit on the page. Um, horizon blue, that sounds pretty. Let's take that one too. And we'll take the burnt sienna. What's this one? This is the cobalt blue hue. That's pretty. But I don't want it to get too heavy, so what do I really want? Let's take this. This is uh, the night blue. This fresh green might be good because it's early in the spring. Let's take that too. Okay, so what do we have? We have I kind of want to take this one. Let's take this one too. It's pretty. This is the barrel green. And then just for fun, let's take the rose pink, the lilac, the poppy red, 
and the permanent yellow deep. I might be taking too much. We'll have to see. Okay, now we have to decide on sketchbooks, everybody, and then that's it, and I'll get my bag and pack it up. Okay, so I have four sketchbooks to pick from here, and I think I want to take two so that when well, one is dry and I can work in another one. This is the Hannah Mula one. I don't think it's super made for um, wet media, but I like the size, and the pages are pretty thick. Um, let's, you know what? I know what I want to take. I'm going to take my Moleskin Art one. This is the experimentation one that I have. I'm going to take this and I haven't used this one and I'm going to force myself to use it now. Uh, this is the premium Zeta, Zeta series um, Stillman and Burn mixed media. So I'm going to take these two and we'll save these for another time. Okay. Okay, so here's my bag. If you've been on the channel, you've seen it before. Um, it has a power bank for charging phones, and then I always bring some newspapers um, for sitting on. And I bring this little thing of sunscreen, two different uh, bug repellents, and also an essential oil bug repellent, and a hat. And then I'm also going to bring a book today, the one that I'm reading, and I will pack everything up. Let's see if I can rotate you out a little bit. Okay, so, sketchbook, sketchbook. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna bring these. Um, well, maybe I do, I don't know. I'm gonna need a bag for those. The water stuff goes in here with the binder clips. And this goes in here too. So that's all ready to go. And then, some paper towels and we'll roll this up the dog is barking sorry everybody there's our roll of sketching tools and I'm gonna get a ziploc bag I think for those these can go in there all right, let's see if they fit these little sandwich bag size ones. I'm not sure if the Poscas will fit. Oh, will they? Just barely. If I can get it to zip shut. Good enough. And then let's put all the paints and the markers in here and then we are set to go. Okay, good to go. So it was on the fishing trip that we saw the first bear. I've actually seen four bears in the last two weeks. This was the first one and it was on our way to our fishing. Um, and then I saw one in the yard a week later, and then that same day, a extremely large bear was on my walking trail in the woods. Here's the one in the yard, and here's the one on the trail. <laughs> okay, so I've got my sketchbooks here. This is what I've mostly been working on the last couple of weeks, trying to get out of the art funk. We'll start with this, because I think this is the one I started in first. It is. So I haven't been doing art daily, but I've been trying to as much as I can in between injuries and illnesses and um, my Crohn's being bad. So this was the first sketch I did on our very first fishing trip. Uh, not the very first. I don't think I did anything the very first. It was too cold. Um, maybe it was the first one. This is just my husband crouching down to uh, fish. He stood up before I could get his feet right so they look wonky and I didn't have time to get his pole in or <clears throat> much details but I'm not trying to be and before I start flipping through the rest I'm gonna I'm gonna do a disclaimer here most of you who've seen my work previously know that I usually work in a super detailed super realistic manner okay sorry I got interrupted there I think what I was saying was the work in this sketchbook is very very different from my normal work. Um, for those of you who have 
seen my normal work. It's here. We'll just real quick. I'm sure most of you have seen a lot of this already, uh, but it's usually very detailed and highly realistic. Um, very, very tiny details. Lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of details. Um, flippy, flippy. What there? <laughs> um, let's flip to the back or somewhere where there's more. I mean, really detailed normally and not at all loose. You would not by any stretch of the imagination call the work that I do loose normally, you know? Um, that was a little looser, I would say. But, you know, super realistic. Got some blank pages, you know? So, the re so to get out of this art funk, I mean, in the stuff that I just showed you, sometimes I get into the flow state and enjoy it, but lately, uh, I have been feeling, I've been having artist block. So to try to switch things up, I thought I would try to work in a really, really loose way that I don't normally w work. Normally that stuff you saw, I might do like four or five, six drafts of a sketch before I'm happy with it and I feel it's realistic enough. And then I transfer the sketch to my work surface and then I get started. For these, I either didn't sketch at all and just started going on the paper or I did a light sketch with no erasing. No erasing was allowed. So this was the first one with my husband. Uh, these were some daffodils out in our yard. You can see lots of different media in there. This is really mixed media. Um, this is out at the river. Some of these, like a, a lot of the time, the sketchbook ones, I don't finish because everybody wants to move on to a different spot before I'm done. So some of these aren't totally finished. And also this isn't as loose as I would like. Um, but just stuff in the woods where we were, this is, uh, oil pastel. I think that's the last one that I just recently did in here. And then on the days when I didn't have a lot of energy, I think there were a couple days I worked in here. I did, uh, these two little ones. This is marker of like a cloudy sky, also not very loose. And this is mixed media, um, marker, colored pencils, um, and oil pastel, um, in here on a little small size. Um, this one I think was timed. I think it took me, it was definitely under 15 minutes because I was only letting me, myself have 15 minutes. And then I finally used the first page in this one. Uh, cause I've been having, I, I had, I mentioned it, I had trouble using this cause it was so expensive. And this is probably the loosest thing I've done to date. Um, it was done on location outside plain air. Uh, and it is gouache and colored pencil and neocolor twos, I think. I'm pretty sure that's all I used. And it was done very fast. I think it was probably no more than half an hour. And you can see all the different textures and scribbles and stuff in there. And very different than my, my normal style, but I did have a lot of fun doing it. It's... I don't know if this light is on. I can try to turn it on. See if I can give you a little more light there. There. That's better. Um, and I, you know, good news, got the first page of this done. Um, so very different. And then I did take out one day, I took out some actual paints. And I'll probably talk about that kit that I take for this another day. But I took out some paints and some panels. And this is, it's hard to, the glare, because it's, you know, a shiny paint. Um, all right, this is my, I don't remember. I'll have to check and see what I took. Um, but this was a study that I did. I'd, I'd call it a study because it was not, again, no more than half an hour, very loose, not my normal style, not finished. I was going to put more of this light back here and, um, some ripples around the grass. The grass wasn't finished. I do like how the little birch trees turned out in the back though. Um, so I'll have to do another video for like an actual plain air painting excursion, not mixed media, but like, you know, with painting and an easel and everything, but that's not today's video. So that is what I have done the last two weeks. Plus I've been working on a painting in the basement in my new layer <laughs> that is not loose at all. Uh, I've probably got at least five hours into that already. I assume while I'm talking, I'm putting up some pictures here. Um, Again, not loose at all. 
I will say if you've if you're seeing the pictures I realized <laughs> I am painting this one just loosely based on some barns in my area but like everything else I made up and I realized I was thinking about it I totally messed up the tracks like I know what tracks look like the water should have been in the tracks <laughs> and not around the tracks so like in my painting it looks like the tracks are raised and everything else is sunk <laughs> so I'm gonna have to fix that um, I, I knew there was something off last the last couple times I worked on it and I couldn't figure out what it was <laughs> but I know now so I'm gonna have to fix it I wanted to put some ducks flying in to land in the water with like reflections so I need a fair amount of water still so it's gonna look kind of flooded but I, I the tracks can't show it's got to be like a raised thing in the middle so I have to fix that but that's the non loose thing that I've been working on uh, downstairs so if you have any tips or tricks for getting out of artist block, I'd love it if you shared it down below. Uh, I am not out of it. I'm not feeling better. Um, um, it's been super stressful. I'm not going to get into it here. Um, if you want to know more about what's happening, there's info up over on Patreon. I don't always share all of that here on YouTube, but if you care enough to go over to Patreon, then I figure, you know, what the heck. But there's a lot going on right now besides like my art block that I think is contributing to the art block. Uh, but if anybody has any tips or tricks to get around it or get over it, I would love to hear what you have to say. I do have a video up already about art block. That's the stuff I would normally do when I have art block. And I have done all of that and none of it's working. So help me. <laughs> Kidding. I'll figure it out, I think, I hope. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So um it has been a hard week. It's Thursday. There was no live stream today. Uh, I'm not going to talk about why. Hopefully I'll be able to get back to it soon, but thank you for being here with me today. Um, if you haven't hit the like or subscribe button yet or left a comment, I would really appreciate it if you did. That is a free to you way to help support my channel and I appreciate every single bit of support that I've gotten from every one of you and all the encouraging and kind comments and supportive comments and the super thanks. Like, you guys have just been so good to me. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, happy creating!